We've been together since high school. We married right after high school, immediately after high school. The following year, we had our first child. The next four years, we had four more children. I think I drifted. I'd run from responsibility. I'd leave her alone with the children, and I would be out uh, with my friends uh, at that time drinking, a lot of times gambling, and, and paychecks would be gone. God wasn't in the picture to begin with. I just started having babies, and I came from a divorce situation. I wasn't going to have a divorce in our family. Uh, I wanted this family. I didn't really know about a lot of the drinking. I knew some of it, but I didn't know to the extent of it. I just kept thinking, if I do enough, God will make this stop for us. When we did go to church, I, did, I felt more guilty than anything. I didn't understand what grace was. I don't think I really realized that, that John was involved in the drugs. At that time, he was bringing home pretty good money so there wasn't a lot there for me to question. I just kind of got used to that. Like I said, it was playing house for me. One weekend he came home. I knew from the odor that something was wrong. Uh, I'd been married a good 10 years at that time, dated him for two and a half before marrying. It's the only time in my life I've ever been afraid of him. The next morning, after the children went to school, I looked in the dresser drawers and I found some substance there. It wasn't going to be around my kids. He was not going to hurt my kids. My mother was an alcoholic. That was one of the big reasons that the court took me away from her, and I had had it. And so I went to the police department. Went and spent uh, 57 days in the local jail. I had a dream while I was in jail that Jesus come back and was looking for me, and I wasn't ready to meet him. Less than a year later on probation, I was walking downtown with some friends. We stepped into an alley, and we were just smoking a joint, and I had several in my pocket. And, and lo and behold, these same authorities thought that they wanted to talk to me again. I was facing uh, some pretty serious charges. So I got to go to uh, a big time prison. I made up my mind then that I would stay with him, I would do whatever it took to get him through it. My lawyer was convinced that 30 days I would uh, be able to come back home. And I went down, I think around 1st of October, Christmas came and I was still sitting there in, in prison. I had the identical dream. Jesus came back and was looking for me and I was hiding because I, I wasn't ready to meet him. Finally, it started resonating with me that, uh, uh, that I was a mess. We had a, a, a Christian group came in called Yoke Fellows, and they were holding Bible study, and I said, well, I need this. And they started teaching me about grace. I was unaware that God loved me personally. One night after my cellmate was in bed, I rolled out of bed and laid on that prison floor and yielded my life to the Lord. He, had, he wrote to me and told me he had something really exciting to tell me and I couldn't believe, I couldn't figure out what it was going to be. It was not until he came home that uh, he told me about the, really a conversion, the breaking of his heart and opening it up. He started participating in church. And it wasn't a thing of, hey, wake up, you've got to go. He was the one wanting to go. So it made it much easier to go as a family. I just saw him. His life was the, was the example. His, his whole demeanor about him uh, meant that he was doing what he told me he was going to do. So that gave me confidence. Now we're uh, involved as much as we can with, we're, of the support team to help support uh, the leadership in Celebrate Recovery. The Lord is really being able to utilize me uh, and my talents at this point in my life to help others who are struggling with some of the same things that I've struggled with in my life. The only, the only regret I have is that it took us until we were in our 70s to find it.
uh, the freedom that we have that we know through Christ, we heard grace.